Because you are within a magic circle, which I may not enter. Your voice is as sweet as the lament of violins in the quiet night. Who are you? Tell me. I have forgotten. I have no remembrance of myself, but in your thoughts of me. I remember now the star that drew my heart towards its light, the tears that I have shed in the still midnight, the one who stood before me ever in my dream. Was it you? I... I remember your hair soft and damp as if with tears. Your sad and gentle eyes. Your hand with the thin, tapering fingers. Waking and sleeping, I had no thoughts but of you. You went away, and darkness fell upon me. My soul withered in loneliness like the soul of a widow left desolate. A stranger came. And then, then you returned. And the dead heart wakened to life again. And out of sorrow, joy blossomed like a flower. Why? Have you now once more forsaken me? I broke down the barriers between us. I crossed the plains of death. I defied every law of past and present time and all the ages. I strove against the strong and mighty and against those who know no mercy. And as my last spark of strength left me, I left your body to return to your soul. Come to me, my bridegroom, my husband. Come to me. I shall carry you dead in my heart. And in our dreams at night, we shall rock to sleep our little children who will never be born. I 
I want to thank you so much for allowing me to be with you and for making me feel so much at home here in the United States. I would like especially to thank Senor Bob Hope, Senor Wendell Niles, my director, Senor Robin Clark, and all the wonderful people who have been so very nice. I hope we can be together soon.